Today, we've got something pretty cool here that I'd like to dive into, and it's a product that has truly transformed the way I do my work when I'm on the move. This is the ProtoArc Hub Mouse, and this isn't just your ordinary wireless mouse. It's actually got a secret up its sleeve, a two-in-one hub, and let me tell you that this has been a very interesting item to play around with. But what sets it apart is its compatibility. Because the mouse comes with this USB-C hub, I can just simply take it out and plug it right into the Steam Deck and take control from there. Sure, it plays with the usual suspects like the iPads, the MacBook Pros, but I wanted to try out something a little bit different where I had a little bit of difficulty getting used to my Steam Deck when I'm in the desktop mode. And I thought what would be the fastest way to connect a portable mouse to this thing? And because the hub comes in a USB-C format, I can just simply plug this into the Steam Deck and it just works. And once I'm done, I just simply pack it away into this all-in-one portable package. To switch it up here, I'm going to connect it to my iPad Pro to show you how I use this thing on a daily basis and how it works into my daily flow into my studio. So because the hub that comes with it is a USB-C hub, it can just simply plug into any modern device, in this case an iPad Pro. And once it's connected, you can see that it's easily recognized by the iPad and you're good to go. Now, because I plugged the USB-C hub, which is the receiver for the mouse directly into the iPad, I didn't need to go through the process of pairing, but in the event that you do want to pair this device as a Bluetooth device for your PC, Mac, or iPad, or any other tablet, uh, you can just simply choose which channel you'd like to use. You have three channels to choose from. And basically, when you go to the next channel, you just continue holding that, which then starts the pairing process. You go onto your device and just simply choose the ProtoArc mouse, and you're good to go. But the fact that you can skip all of that by simply plugging in your USB-C hub directly to your device, it just eliminates all those extra steps if you're just really quickly on the go. Now, you're probably thinking, this is just a regular portable mouse. There's nothing really special about it. But if you step back and take a look at their concept where they actually give you two devices in one and giving you the option to carry a mouse, a hub, or just one of them, with you during a meeting or if you want to be productive and just want to be on the go, you don't have to take the mouse with you. You can just use the hub and when you're done with it, get back home and put it back into the mouse and you're set to go. But I think what they're trying to achieve here is they are offering you an all-in-one solution since most people like using mouse as opposed to a trackpad. And they're giving you that flexibility to have a, a hub as well so that you can connect your main device like a laptop. And you can also connect multiple devices like multiple hard drives and feed an external monitor as well. Now it does support 4K, but it does support only up to 24 frames per second, which is understandable considering that this is such a small device. And the hub itself does tend to heat up, especially when you have a power cord plugged in and an external monitor plugged in. Now, just for the sake of comparison, this is my daily driver, the Logitech MX3 mouse. And this is pretty much the pinnacle of what a creator or a designer would use, something that a content creator would use on a daily basis. And the MX3 is the standard for a few reasons. Number one is the ergonomic grip that allows you to hold onto the mouse comfortably for many, many hours, as well as its advanced laser technology and its customizable button setup that can be done in the app. Now, now, if you bring up the ProtoArc mouse next to it, you can see that they tried to mimic the grip ribbed action here in the bottom of the mouse. And I can sit, I can definitely appreciate where they were going with this, but because it is made of plastic and the texture is just too slippery, I don't think it's a very ergonomic mouse overall. I did have some fatigue over time around my index fingers when I was using it, just because there was just no grip on it. However, the hub itself is made of metal, I guess just to handle all the extreme temperatures. It does tend to heat up quite a bit, so that's one thing to take a note of. But if you compare these two mice together, you can see the similarities where they try to get that grip and ergonomic function into the proto arc 
but it's just not there only because the mouse is so small. Overall, I think the ProtoArc is a definitely a very good contender to be a portable mouse. And the fact that it came with a hub is very interesting because then you don't have to worry about carrying an extra item with you. The fact that it comes built into the mouse, you can just take it out of its sleeve and plug it whenever you want. I really like that thing about the ProtoArc mouse. And it's definitely something that I'd like to give it a go. So yeah, that's my take on the ProtoArc 2-in-1 hub mouse. It's definitely an interesting device that came across my studio only because I found the concept interesting. The fact that you have a hub as well as a mouse and you don't have to carry both together and it's pretty much just buying two devices in one, which I think itself is very, very cool. So what do you guys think about the ProtoArc 2-in-1 hub mouse? Is it something that you'd get? Do you find value in having a hub built into the mouse so that you can just carry it with you wherever you go, without have to worry about it? If you like this video, hit that like button and if you would love to see more tech reviews in the future, hit that subscribe button for a ton more videos like this coming in the future. Till next time, see ya.